This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is a Clay Miller Sergeant Challenge Lock. This is the key. It came not mummified, and it's one of the smoother challenge locks operation-wise that I've seen in a while. We're going to see what it takes to pick into this, and then I'll take it apart and show you what's inside. We're using top of the keyway tension with a 50 thousandths pry bar, and I'll be using a standard Peterson hook in 25 thousandths. Okay, one. Getting a little bit out of one. Okay, got to click there. Click out of two, more feedback. I think that's it on two. Nothing on three. Click out of four. Another click. I think that's it for now. A mm. little bit out of five. I think that's all it's given me. Okay, six. Getting some feedback, but it's not really moving. Okay, there we got something out of six. Okay, back to one. Nothing there. Nothing on two. Click out of three. Click out of four, dropped into a bit of a false set. Nothing on five, nothing on six. Nothing on one. Nothing on two, three. Nothing on four, five. Okay, clearly I missed something going through that pin stack. Or six, okay. Definitely not one. Nothing on two. Nothing on three. Little bit of feedback on four, maybe that's it. Okay, got a deeper false set off of four. Nothing on five or six. Back to one, two. Okay, little feedback on three there. It's not moving. There we go, got three, four, five, six. Back to one. Okay, hit two. Got a very, very deep false set. Let me look at the cam. Nope, we're not open. Let's see, that's three, four, click out of five. Oh, a little counter rotation on five. Okay, I think we're open now. Let me uh, let me take it out of the vise just to make sure. I'm not, it's not just the cam hitting the vise. No, it's actually open. Okay, let's take this guy apart and see what's inside. Since we do have a key, I'm gonna lock it up to make it a little easier to gut. Okay, let's get our key and a follower, and hopefully this will come apart smoothly. There we go. Okay, it's a seven pin lock. We only have six chambers pinned up. Let's dump these key pins out. Homemade serrated, homemade serrated, homemade serrated, homemade serrated. Same, okay, all homemade serrated pins for our key pins, and very nicely done ones as well. Okay, let's look at our driver pins now. Okay, one is, okay, a drunken spool. And here's our spring. Two, two appears to be a pin in pin lock, or pin, I'm sorry. Three, that looks like, I think that's an ASA old style spool. 
an actual factory factory pin. Four is the acid new style spool. Okay. Whoa. Five was a pin in pin one. Like this. And then six popped out. I think he was like that. Let's get those springs out. Okay, before we take a close look at the pins, let's take a close up of the Bible, see if there's anything interesting in there. Okay. Looks like we have some threading in one, two, three, and probably four. And we have threading in five, six, and seven. Seven being threaded even though it wasn't used. Okay, let's take a look at the pin, the pins, and the core. Okay, on the key pins, you can see they are all homemade serrated, very nicely done. Then for the driver pins in slots one and six, we have some very, very deep drunken spools. In slots two and five, we have pin in pin serrated, and it looks like we have a little spooling on the end of the inner pin. And then in three, we have an ASA old style spool. And in four, we have an ASA new style spool. Moving over to the core, a lot of work done there. Everything has been threaded. And in addition to that, on slots three, four, and five, it looks like Clay added some counter milling as well. So Clay, great job with this lock. Thank you very much for sending it my way. To everyone else, if you have any questions or comments, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like them, please subscribe, and as always, have a nice day. Thank you.